And now we're going to have an exciting interview with two stars of the electric motor racing world. Katie Munnings and Timmy Hansen are the Andretti United Extreme e-drivers. Welcome. The championship cars that they drive are fully electric, Odyssey 21. Katie won the European Rally Championship Ladies Trophy in 2016, and Timmy was a FIA World Rally Cross Championship drivers and teams overall champion in 2019. Today, they're here participating in Climate Live Action, in Climate Action Live. So welcome, Timmy and uh, Katie. Thank Hello. you. Thanks for joining us. Well, I'm, uh, I have a lot of questions, and I'm sure the audience as well, but we're going to uh, go over some uh, of the top curiosities in, um, in your world. So, Katie, shall we start with you? Yeah, sounds good. So you're an Andretti United Extreme e-driver. Can you tell us a little bit more about what you do and how your work highlights the impact on climate change? Yeah, of course. So Extreme is an electric off-road championship, um, and we're basically racing in SUVs in the most remote locations on the planet. Um, and we're racing against some of the top names in motorsport from Formula One, from World Rally, from Rallycross, um, loads of different backgrounds. And they're all coming together um, to race in, the, in these events side by side against each other. Uh, we're not racing on track, so we're racing in the raw natural environment, um, but we're racing without a trace. So um, our mission and our aim is to raise awareness for climate change. Um, and so it's actually really exciting for us drivers because not only are we having some really exciting racing on the track, we're also raising awareness for the area that we're racing in. So the Desert x the Ocean x the Amazon x all of these areas have got a different issue with climate change. Um, and we're highlighting that and we're actually on the ground working with different legacy programs that will stay for years after we've raced to try and um, have an impact on the local environment and to reverse the effects of climate change. And also using the huge voice that sport has um, and that all the different drivers in the championship have um, of promoting and building awareness of what we can do individually for climate change. It's really amazing. I had the opportunity to be in the in the e extreme race in Dakar just recently, a couple of weeks ago, and uh, we planted a, thousands of mangroves. And I didn't really uh, was not aware of the importance of mangroves in the balance of our ecosystem. So. Um, Personally, I believe what you guys are doing, it's, just, it's challenging that status quo of, uh, of how we can do things differently and with good practices. Timmy, what does it mean to you for this uh, sport to be creating this inspiration? Like I, as an individual that was just there, had this motivation and was so inspired um, by generating the link with people and climate action or climate change. Yeah. Motorsport's been, you know, I, I love motorsport and motor racing, and to be able to do that and um, and and still doing that in in a positive way, you know, motorsports like in history it's been quite dirty, and now to turn that around and not only becoming zero, but but doing like extreme e and promoting promoting uh, what what's going on with the environment, we're going to to places that are damaged already by climate change uh, we race in those places we help the local communities to uh, to recover and we spread the message of what's going on in the same time as racing electric suvs and um, hopefully hopefully helping the manufacturers and and promoting that to the people that you know what we are able to do to to save the crisis that we're in Absolutely. And, you know, I, I, what I think it's also that well, when you have that opportunity to put that highlight on this fragile ecosystems, you create that awareness and you connect people to take action because sometimes we take so much for granted our, uh, the fragility and the importance of our ecosystem, uh, the water, the mangroves, uh, uh, the Amazons, the icebergs in, um, you know. Um, incredible. And it's all connected. Like that's uh, that's something that I've learned. Like you you cannot believe that something's going on in one place in the world and not affecting the other. Like we're going around the whole globe, racing in places, and they're all affecting each other. So uh, that that's really cool. And also, it's a, it's a race. It's it's not only a passion. It's a passion with impact. So um, you know, I have. 
and we'll, Katie, we think that uh, the climate, you know, our problem, it's an emergency, you know, but how much time or how, um, how urgent is, uh, is, is uh, the climate emergency that we're living in? The, the clock is ticking. So how urgent you as a racer and as a young person think that you have to take action into implementing new ways and better ways of, uh, of using our commodities and in this case, race? Yeah, I think this year especially, it's kind of highlighted to me how immediate action needs to take place. Um, you know, it's okay to watch on TV and kind of disconnect yourself from what's going on in other parts of the world that way. When we've actually been on the ground and we've been hearing this from the local people about how their environments changed. Um, and we've also been having lectures every evening, all the drivers. So normally we go to a race and we're watching the onboard videos and studying. Uh, but we also have time to have lectures from leading scientists um, who are educating us. And they're really saying this is this is right now. This is the issue, um, and we haven't got time to wait ten years to fix it. Um, and I think that's the, the the when you actually see that in real life, like when we were in the desert and we saw people losing homes to desertification um, through rising temperatures, over farming, all of these issues that we have and pollutants in the soil. Um, I think it actually makes you realise that the world is is kind of it's a scary place to be in right now. Um, and it's definitely made me change all of the small habits it's very easy to say okay all well, the big companies should make changes but i think you know we all have a bigger responsibility to that now um and i think that it's really it's really um positive and i was i was really impressed that extremely aren't just kind of raising awareness and then and, and then leaving um i've been speaking to some people for example when we were planting the mangroves in senegal and they said they're employed by this their families have been employed during covid by this to plant these trees um and that gives the huge uh, a lot of um the ecosystem um in that particular area um it really increases the biodiversity and the fishing of mussels and oysters in particular and that is the whole economy for that town um and so i think it has such a big impact it's not just the climate that we're working on i think um, when you make these changes, it actually affects every sector. And so when you start looking at the bigger picture, um, it's not too late. There is so much positive work that we can do, but we all have to kind of step up and say, OK, I can do my bit and I'm going to start right now. It's not too late, but time is running out. So uh, <laughs> absolutely. And as, it, uh, as this uh, event is called, no, no climate action, no peace. And you were saying, you know, well, the climate action is so essential towards these communities, their, their lifestyles. And if, if, if we don't take care of the climate, then you have all this natural, um, you know, uh, problems and come out hurricanes and tsunamis and they devastate uh, uh, cities and communities. And then that generates uncertainty and violence and snow climate action, no peace. But Timmy, I have a question. With all the learnings of, of what you've seen in the development of electric racing cars uh, and that technology, how do you find that there's a way into taking this technology into the commercial electric car production? Am I going to be driving one of this in Miami sometime soon? I hope so. I hope so for, for you. <laughs> it, it's a cool car, but you know, I've, I've uh, I've grown up seeing seeing Formula One and seeing the technology they have there, and and later getting that implemented into into the cars that we're driving today. You know how the way that they handle and the safety systems and so on, and uh, the the engines that are in the cars today, they've kind of reached their limit in efficiency and and so on. Um, but now when we transfer to electric, it's a whole new technology and it's unexplored. And sports have this incredible um, drive, you know, that the competition, you always want to be better. And it doesn't matter where you go, you have to take the next step and continue forward. And I hope that we'll be able to work on, on this technology, on these electric engines and the batteries and making them more and more efficient uh, because we, we do have the same amount of energy to, to use, but then the more efficient the cars get, the faster it will go around the track. And when translating that to, to the roads, uh, more efficient means that you'll get further with the same energy. So uh, I, I think that Motorsport now um, is able to, to really pay back like, um, and, and give back to, to the world, uh, as it did in the 80s maybe, and, and the 90s when turbos were discovered and so on. Now, I don't know what's around the corner, but it's extremely exciting to be right in the middle of this. And, you know, I, I love driving cars and this is my sport, this is my passion. Um, and knowing that this can contribute to making the world 
a better place for for my son when when he grows up he has uh, the same beautiful world and beautiful nature to to visit and to see as as we have today that is so cool as you say you know you don't know what the uh, what the outcome is going to be but you're in the middle of it so you're already creating a change and talking about uh that change that we can do individually for both of you, but I'm going to start with Katie. What do you think we can do as individuals um, to engage with uh, climate action? I think the, the, the biggest thing is don't don't freak out. Don't think you've got to completely change the world in one day. Um, it's small actions. Use less plastic. Think about switching your car to an electric car. Um, think about walking instead of taking a taxi. All of these things will make a difference. Um, and Extreme Me actually is running a Count Us In campaign. Right. Where you can make actions and then add them onto the leaderboard to affect the overall race results so there's fun ways of doing it too i think let's do it it's all about that katie and timmy thank you so much for uh, this opportunity and thank you for taking action in uh in this great event thank you so much and good luck with your work appreciate it